I'm Yasmin Abdelmajid. I'm 25, I'm a mechanical engineer and I work on oil and gas rigs as a drilling engineer. And I'm really into fast cars uh, and designed my own race car when I was at university and I love Formula One. Hi, I'm Annika and I'm studying physics as a part of my international baccalaureate. Hi, I'm Claudia and I'm studying physics, chemistry and biology as part of my VCA at Wesley. Hi, I'm Kate and I'm studying physics and chemistry as part of my IB diploma. So there was kind of two main reasons that I decided to do engineering. So one is that when I was in grade nine, I fell in love with cars, right? So watch this movie, it's a terrible movie called Catch That Kid, right? And there was like a bunch of like three kids robbed a bank and escaped on go-karts. Don't recommend the movie, but there was this scene where there was this guy like fanging around on a go-kart and I was like, that is what I want to do with my life. I want to be like the first female black Muslim Formula One driver. But also at the same time, I was really interested in like having an impact in the world and wanting to, you know, do social development stuff. And I was like, I could do law, I could do international relations, I could do politics, but like that's what everybody does. And what is going to make me any different? And I was like, maybe rather than doing arts law, I could do something like engineering where they come up with the idea that needs to be made, but then somebody actually has to design and build it, right? They have to come up with the solutions and be able to create it. So I can be the person that makes the tangible difference. What does a mechanical engineer do? Mechanical engineering is the design of anything that moves, right? So civil engineers are like anything that doesn't move. Bridges, roads, like, you know, that kind of thing, buildings. Mechanical engineering is everything that moves. So cars, like turbines, like trains. You know, you can also kind of have mechanical engineers involved in power plants and big scale projects. But it's really cool because it, you can kind of go into a whole bunch of different things. What's it like working in an oil and gas rig? Working on a rig is completely different to normal life. I was the first chick they hired in my department in 2012. You fly into a rural town somewhere and then you drive out for a couple of hours and it's like a small drilling rig and you kind of just live nearby for however long it takes to drill. And I became a drilling engineer, so it meant I designed the hole that we were drilling and I was also the boss. So I went, I like started from the bottom and <laughs> jumped all the way up and everyone's like, whoa! And so much about engineering wasn't actually about you know, how do I fix this technical problem, but how do I get the people that I'm working with to come up with the best solution and to actually work safely. What subjects at school prepare you for studying engineering? So I didn't do your typical engineering subjects. I did maths B, which is like middle level maths, um, English. I did physics, but then I did uh, economics, um, design and technology, which was like woodwork and graphics design. What advice do you have for girls who are interested in studying engineering? Engineering is such a great thing to study. It's such an interesting subject. And it's a skill that like, I think women do particularly well in. Like all the women engineers I know are amazing. If we want to be able to change the way the world is built to better suit us, then we have to be part of designing it. And that's an incredible power and something that we should lean right into.